everybody. Welcome to week three. A few things about last week, uh, just to keep you informed. I know that I'm always interested. Um, I gave two different opinion type questions last week. The first one was, uh, did you feel you are successful in Schoology? And I will say about 70% of you felt that you had a good understanding of Schoology, which will make this class really easy. The rest of you, I really hope to help you along. The second one was that I asked you to write a paragraph telling me which one was more important, the guts or the brains. And with the exception of some of you, I'm going to say anywhere from 10 to 20, who said they're both which we all know that I still needed you to take a stance, but um, overwhelmingly everybody said the brain. And I agree with you. That was, would have been what I chose because without the brain, it is just a machine, whether it can turn on or not. So a computer is the ability to save the data and compute and do things. And that is the brain. That's what makes a computer, if you ask me. So um, hopefully you found it interesting to figure out which one was which. So now for this week, you're going to, I'm sure you've already found week three. And maybe um, you're in the before you begin. So now you will go to the checklist. Okay, so the checklist doesn't change. Basically, we have week three. We have the three assignments, and there's the voluntary virtual meeting on Wednesday. A note about this is that next Tuesday, because Monday we have off, it's uh, Labor Day. So we only have a four-day week next week. But next Tuesday, I will have a meeting a team's meeting in the morning and I will be doing this type of intro to the week live. I will also have the video posted so that if you miss it or if you don't want to join us, you don't have to. But if you want to join us so you can ask questions or um, just give me some feedback, that would be awesome. I will post that on Friday and then I will also post it on uh, Tuesday morning. All right, so we have Schoology vocab. We're talking about the SNP and PIN, organization, Office 365, Word, Teams, Outlook, OneDrive, posture. Does anybody know what posture means? We're going to learn screenshot, hardware input, output, and data storage. So that is the an overview of the words and the concepts that we're going to be talking about this week. The essential question is why is organization important and more importantly, effective? So if you are organized, does that make you more effective? So this week is, this week is all about uh, learning shortcuts and being more effective. Like last week, we'll have a face-to-face -face meeting Wednesday at 11. I'll publish the link at 10, and you guys can join me at 11. We'll just have general uh, meeting. There is no content, and then I will give you another fun website, or I think we're going to play a video this week. All right, so your objectives for the week. At the end, you should be able to answer yes to all of these. Students will learn how to correctly save and stay organized. You'll know how to take a screenshot. You'll know what computer hardware, input, output, and data storage is. And you'll know the proper way to sit while typing. So you have three assignments. I go over them specifically. There's a video for each one. But the first one is you're going to watch a video and um, you're going to go to Office 365 and you're going to create some folders. 
you're going to take a screenshot of the folders and submit it to me. Now, I'm going to jump over here for a moment. And um, I want to show you something because I it's a little bit different than last week. So in assignment one, there are several videos. So here's my intro video. It's 15 minutes long. I got cut off because uh, my screen capture only does 15 minutes. So it ends very abruptly, and I apologize for that. But the only thing that it was missing was how to submit a file in Schoology. So I created a smaller, shorter, minute and a half, video of just doing that. Okay. In this video, I talk about tips and tricks about windows and such, but I did not specifically give you directions if you have a Mac or a Chromebook. So if you have a Mac or a Chromebook, you can click on these and go to them and watch them. So you know how to do it. If you don't have one, then you'll have the PC, and I included that in here with the snipping. Okay. Number two is you're going to watch a video about computer hardware, input, output, and data storage. There's a worksheet that's attached. It has two questions to it. The first question, you're just going to tell me what is each one of the pictures. The second one, you're going to tell me if it's input, output, data storage, or computer. And then it will submit. And then the last one is you're going to watch a video about posture. Posture is the way you sit. Do you slouch? Do you lay down? It has been proven that if you sit up straight and do the five to ten things that are in this video, you will type better and faster. So you, this is a two-part um, assignment. It all gets submitted in one assignment, in assignment three, but there's two things that I'm going to look for inside of it. The first one is that from the video, I want you to give me five to ten ways that you can change your posture or the way you should be sitting when you are typing to make it faster and um, easier. The second thing is, is that I need at least a sentence after you have taken the typing test. Now, for two weeks, you should have been practicing typing. So you're going to take the typing test again, and hopefully you have improved. I'm not having you give me the numbers. If you want to send me the numbers and tell me that you've gotten better, that's awesome. But I'm, that this isn't a checkpoint for this. What I want you to do now is I want you to take a typing test the way you usually do, where you're sitting, in your chair, in your bed, whatever it is. I want you to take the typing test, and then I want you to take the typing test the way the video shows you. And then take and summarize it for me. Did you do better? Didn't you do better? Did it was one harder than the other? Did you feel less tired after one or the other? I just need a basic overview, one sentence. So assignment three will be two parts. One is the five to ten ways to sit correctly when typing. And two, you're going to write a sentence after you've taken the typing test uh, detailing the differences or similarities or giving me your feelings about them. As always, if you need me, give me a shout out. Um, I've been watching my Schoology messages. It's working out awesome. Um, if you really need me, you can email me. We're going to be talking about email a lot more next week. But uh, if not, have a wonderful week and a great three-day weekend. All right, hope to see you soon.